Good afternoon to you all. Compare Miss Vinaye, Sri Kelly Jiliang, IS retired and chairman of this Solemn Boutique Hotel Management. Miss Nitokali Aomi, general manager of the management. Sri Hailong Ning Jiliang, managing director of this Sulim Boutique Hotel. Dr. Reverend Ravi Pame, dignitaries present here, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I, on my own behalf and on behalf of my family, and friends, congratulate Sri Kale Jiliang for launching this uh, beautiful hotel in in the rural area of Dimapur, I should say, because Jiliang Rong is not urban area <laughs> initially. So, in such a place, coming up with such a beautiful hotel is a blessing for all the dwellers of this village and surrounding. Big congratulations to him and his family. Of all the business, hotel, running a hotel is one of the most difficult tasks for any businessman because nobody knows how far it will be successful. If you sell materials, goods to the customer in the market, you know it can be sold. But hotel, we don't know who will come. We don't know who are the customer. So he is traveling into unknown destination, taking a great risk taking a great risk in business step. Unknown destination, I should say. See, for example, in Nagaland, for the government, one of the most difficult tasks is during Hornbill Festival. Protocol officers of the government, they lost their way to accommodate their guests coming from different parts of the world and the country. Because we have very less hotel here in Nagaland, either Dimapur or Kohima. So adding one hotel will ease out the government management also. So it's not only blessing for the people of this area, or the people of Nagaland, but it eats out the problem of the government of Nagaland also, I consider. During Hornbill Festival, we know tourist people who wants to visit Hornbill Festival don't get this accommodation. So they used to stay in Bogajam, they used to stay in Dipu, surrounding areas, and they used to come to Kohima and go back to their respective hotel. So this is the situation in Dunglen. So coming up with one more hotel, which is unique, we have not gone inside, but from outside, we can make out that it's a very unique hotel. And the name written Sulem, as he has, uh, the owner has explained, I really appreciate the name that they have given, plus written with golden ink. We used to say that if anyone could achieve good things, we used to say that his name should be written by golden ink. And the name of the hotel is also written by golden ink. I think that is very thoughtful and it is appreciable for all of us. Together, all of us 
we are gathered here today to pray to God that abundantly blessed the management and the owner of this hotel. As I said, it's a great risk for the owner to venture with this uh, running a hotel. But he might have already visualized a few years back that he should establish a hotel and he should be the owner of a hotel. And that vision has been transformed into a reality today. So thank God and may God bless his dream to have been translated into the reality and successfully managed the hotel. That's what we can pray to God. Number two, I don't own a single hotel anywhere, but we earn the experience of hotel management by visiting so many places, inside the country, outside the country. And uh, management is the very most difficult task. The owner will provide the building, rooms, every asset, furnishing, everything is uh, arranged, managed by the owner. But management is the most difficult task. Seeing the other hotel where we used to stay outside the country and inside our country. Sometimes we stay in five-star hotel, three-star hotel, even non-star hotel we used to stay. But management, the burden of the management remained the same. Whether big hotel or small hotel, that management, the items of working system remain the same. You have general manager, managing director, and other staff, working staff in office. Besides that, you have receptionists. Besides that, you have room service who will be serving the food and drinks to the uh, clients. You have laundry. You have restaurant, bar, spa. All these managements are put together under one head, that is general manager, who manages the uh, hotel. For example, when we visit any hotel, the first impression we get from the receptionist, smiling face, welcoming you, that itself brings hospitality to the customer. But thereafter, you go inside the room, you have to check the water, you have to check your bathroom, then you are fully satisfied. You have to look at your bed, you are fully satisfied. But the most important, uh, the, the most important uh, point that we should remember, we should keep on our mind is, when we dial, the operator, or room service, or room dining. If there is no response, then you first started frustrating. Tension started because your timing to go out and to be in the room, all are already scheduled, preset. But any hotel, if you ring up to room dining or reception, or operator, when there is no response, the tension, tension start. Your customer start with frustration. So be careful that if the receptionist or telephone operator talking on your mobile to somebody and you don't respond to your customer, that means you're failing your duty. Uh, you're creating a frustration to your customer. So normally, the workers are not allowed to use mobile well in duty. So that way, 
for me on my own experience that if from your room if you dial through intercom to any section of the working people if we don't get the response in time that is the most inappropriate step that you are experiencing so uh, we i don't manage the hotel i don't run the hotel i don't own the hotel but this my experience i'm sharing with you that to satisfy your customer is in the first place receptionist number two how you respond to your uh, customer and that itself satisfy the food quality maybe according to their order it will go but service the room service or telephone operator that if we don't get in time if i place order for food the room dining people will tell you that it will take about 30 minutes then i already set my time to go out but if we don't get food in 30 minutes there also tension starts 30 minutes mean you have to be within 30 minutes or 1 2 minutes later so all this timing that managing a hotel management is not easy it's like running a government under your control there are so many departments laundry people will be there uh, housekeeping people will be there room dining people will be there all these departments are functioning under one roof and it's like controlling controlling a government department so i congratulate this uh, management team that you are entering into a new house with a new assignment so as you move on to your duties i wish you all the best and satisfy your customer and satisfy the owner of your hotel who has made a lot of effort who knows we might think that he is very rich but who knows he might have taken loan from the bank <laughs> and hotel management to recover your expenditure it took a long way you cannot recover your expenditure within 10 15 years because investment is so heavy again you are you are to manage the uh, staff salary whether customer is there or not he'll have to pay the salary to all the staff the working people so is a great opportunity for the youth those who have trained themselves to work and that hundreds of people will be employed in one hotel that is creating employment opportunity to our youth those who have trained themselves and prepared to work for the for the owner and the management so here we it is not only it is not only the way the window open for the owner and to be the proud owner of the hotel but it is a new window open for the for the youth that to serve the people through this uh, to to this uh, hotel he has already explained that this building from the outlook we cannot make out any difference but according to him this is air quick proof so in case nagaland if that air quick is announced the langrong ram people know see everybody should not come here at least leave two room for reverend and myself <laughs> so that we can also take shelter and in in one of the room see so i think this technology is a new thing for uh, dimapurians in other cities 
we used to hear about that, the steel structure, that Olive Hospital is also made by this steel structure, without RCC, without a road, only steel structure they have built up. But hotel, we have not heard about the see, construction of the building with steel structure, and which is also earthquake proof. And the customer, whoever come is, will be feel, they'll feel secure and comfortable. So that is one plus point. And as I mentioned that uh, the, during Hornbest Festival, Hornbest Festival, people, to, people used to book hotel three, four months ahead of the Hornbest Festival. And after two, three months, no one will get the room. They have to book their hotel nearby this, our, uh, our neighbor state, like Assam. So that uh, if you manage well, I think there will be no dirt of customer. Customer will come. And uh, it all depends on your management. Your trained teams can be a trainer to another team who, who will be joining in this hotel. And it will go on expanding among the youth and multiply, multiply the avenues for the unemployed youth. So I cannot name every one of you, but I wish all the management team a success to bring a success story of the hotel or to make the owner proud is all depends on the management team. And let's hope that you will carry out your journey in this hotel industry. Hotel is one of the eco-tourism. Tourism can be expanded through good hotel. And hotel is one of the industry. We call it hotel industry because it produce, it produce the business, it produce the people, train people, and it produce goods to the customer. So this industry should be a success industry in our commercial city, Timbapur. And above, over and above all this, being, Kalei being a Zilian, I think he, he is not only the proud owner, but all the Zilians are proud because of the owning one hotel in such a beautiful place. And it makes proud of us. So we wish that uh, God will bless your dream to come to a reality. And let that the owner and the management team prosper to this uh, small hotel, we should say. Once again, I congratulate Mr. Kalei and his wife and Hai Long Ning, who is the managing director of this hotel and the team of this management under the control of the uh, general manager who will be working day and night to bring success story of this hotel. Once again, I, all of you, and wish you all the best. Thank you.